Again, I believe you will get the most effective practice if you put away your notes and calculator when you work on the multiple choice questions in this video. So if you don't feel ready yet, you may wish to pause this video and review a little bit before continuing. Are you ready? A satellite is in a circular orbit. It has a speed v and it's going around a planet. The satellite has a mass m, the circular orbit has a radius r, and uh, the planet has a mass big M. Which of the following is or are true about the satellite? So if we make a drawing, we would have the planet big M, satellite little m going around the, in the circle with radius r from the center of the planet to here. Since it's doing circular motion, we can start with the net force equals to ma. The net force that's acting on the little m, the only force that's acting on the little m is the gravitational force g m m over r squared. And that equals to ma. So if we cancel the m, we get acceleration is that. So 1 is correct. Now the g m over r squared equals to the acceleration. Since it's a circular motion, the centripetal acceleration would be v squared over r. See, this replacing the a with this can give you information about the speed. So here the r's cancel, and that means the v is take square root on both sides. You get square root g m over r. So number two is wrong. Number three, I, we need to know the information about the period, how the period relates to the radius. So we want the period. By definition, the period is the time per event, the time divided by the number of events. So the time it takes for this satellite go around in one circle, that is the period. Since we already know the speed, we can find the period by looking at the distance traveled divided by the speed. In one circle, the distance traveled will be one circumference. So the distance traveled is 2 pi r. And we have the speed right here, square root of uh, gm divided by the r. So to simplify this, it will be 2 pi r divided by that will be the same as uh, multiplied by this part flipped over, r over gm. So this here, you have r in the numerator, r in the numerator. So the larger the r, the larger, the longer the period, which means the higher the orbit, the longer the period. So 3 is uh, wrong. Therefore, the answer must be A. In this problem, we have a small ball at the end of a string, and it is whirled around in a horizontal circle. So this is the horizontal circle it is in. The horizontal circle has a radius r, so the string makes a cone shape while it goes around, and it is called a conical pendulum. We, what we want to find is the direction of the net force acting on the ball when it is in this position. Since the ball is doing circular motion in a horizontal circle, the acceleration goes towards the center. And since the uh, net force equals to ma, the mass is always a positive number. That means the acceleration and the net force, they are always in the same direction. So if the acceleration goes towards the center that way, the net force goes in the same direction. So the answer is uh, D.